Sometimes all of the methods inside your test class require some kind of setup which is always the same. Similarly, you may have to clean up or close some shared resource after each test has been executed so that the inputs of each method are exactly as you expect them to. A good example would be testing a database. After each test, the tables inside the database should be dropped, so the next test can start fresh. In JUnit Jupyter, this kind of lifecycle awareness is modeled through lifecycle annotations. The at before each annotation marks a method inside a test class to be executed before each of the test cases inside it are run, and thus it can be used to initialize your tests. Conversely, the at after each annotation defines a method that should be executed after each test. Here's a trivial example which prints out the statements in order of execution. Note how, when executed, the lifecycle methods are called multiple times, once for every actual test case.